My name is Steve Conrad. I'm a part of the Digital Impact Alliance Open Source Center. In this video, I will walk you through the building blocks approach outlined in the SDG Digital Investment Framework created by Digital Impact Alliance and ITU. Leveraging this building block approach in digital service delivery provides a standards-based, flexible software infrastructure to deliver cross-sectoral digital services and solutions to achieve development objectives. The SDG Digital Investment Framework and online resources support actors in making coordinated digital investments and facilitate reuse of digital solutions across sectors. SDG goals and targets are achieved by use cases, generic workflows underpinning these use cases, and linking to ICT building blocks. Building blocks can be mapped to existing products, solutions, and standards. In this demo, I will show how a technology implementation can address SDG 1, No Poverty, by creating reliable systems for hiring and paying social protection workers. Our use case is, as a social worker, I would like to be paid on a regular basis for my work in delivering social services to the most vulnerable. The generic workflows in this demo are financial services, registration, and data collection. The building blocks demonstrated are shared data repository, registration, data collection, payments, information mediator, and workflow algorithm. Building blocks are reusable software components. They can be open source, commercial off the shelf, or freely available with open access to data. They facilitate one or more generic workflows. Building blocks are applicable to multiple use cases across multiple sectors and are interoperable with other ICT building blocks. They are designed for scalability and extensibility, and they are standards-based. <clears throat> to provide a concrete example of using a building block approach to your digital service delivery, I will walk you through an example of how we build an application that can deliver functionality for one use case across different sectors. We did not select one monolithic product which delivered the end-to-end -end service but utilized multiple interoperable building blocks to deliver a seamless experience to users. This approach allows for flexibility, reuse, and sustainability. The first building blocks are registration and shared data repository. In this example, we selected Iris to deliver the functionality. I will showcase creating jobs and designating regular salary, assigning jobs to facilities and associating people to jobs when hired, storing an identifier for employees, in this case, a mobile number for payments, and tracking all payments made to employees. The next interoperable building block in this demo is the data collection building block. The example product that we used is ODK to deliver this functionality. I will demo registering new employees for jobs created in IRIS and submitting job evaluations to trigger performance-based pay. The fourth building block is payments. We are using the MIFOS banking system to perform the needed payment functions. In this demo, I will showcase MIFOS managing payments and tracking financial balances. The final building blocks are the information mediator and workflow algorithm. The example product that we are using to deliver this functionality is Open Function. I will show how Open Function can manage the flow of information between systems and trigger certain jobs that need to be run periodically. This diagram shows how the different building blocks work together to form a complete employee registration and payment system that can be used in many different sectors. When a new job is created in IRIS, that information is sent to Open Function. Open Function will then send the appropriate messages to ODK updating the employee registration form so that the new job can be listed and filled. A remote worker can access the employee registration form in ODK and register a new employee to fill an open position. Open Function receives that data collection form and creates the appropriate employee records in IRIS. On a weekly basis, Open Function will query IRIS to get a list of employees that should be paid. Payroll records are created in IRIS to track payments made to these employees. Open Function then takes the payroll list and sends the payroll information for each employee to MIFOS. The payments arrive in the employee bank accounts 
An open function can mark the payroll transactions as completed. Let's turn now to our live demo environment to see how this works in practice. We'll first create a new position for a social worker. We'll configure the information that we need for this new position. And we will assign this position to a facility. In this case, a social protection office that we have configured. We'll save this position and it is now available to be filled. We'll turn to open function. We've configured an hourly trigger that queries Iris to look for any new positions that have been created. We'll run that trigger manually so we don't have to wait for the next hourly run. It will get the new position and update the ODK form that is used when we're hiring someone to fill it. We turn now to the perspective of a remote hiring manager who is tasked with filling this new social worker role. They'll go through their hiring process, and when they're ready to hire someone for the role, they will use ODK to register their new employee. They'll first get the latest version of the registration form that will have the latest list of positions that can be filled. Once they have that, they can fill out the registration form with the information about their new employee. In this case, we'll fill out her name. Natakunda, and we'll fill out uh, a mobile number. As we mentioned before, this is important because it links payments to a bank account that is associated with this mobile number. She's applying for the social worker position in the social protection office, and she will start on today's date. Once we have filled out this form, we can send it back to open function. Open function then will receive the data collection form information and update the position record in IRIS. We look now back in IRIS and we see that this position has been filled. From here, we can turn back to open function. We have another trigger that runs hourly to get a list of any new employees that have been hired. We do that so that we can update the employee evaluation form, which is used to send performance-based pay to our employees. Our remote worker will then get the latest version of the employee evaluation form and can then do a performance evaluation on our new employee. They'll fill out the evaluation form. We see our new employee in the list and they can do a performance evaluation. In this case, our employee is given performance-based pay based on the number of clients that she saw in the past week. She saw 22 clients, so she will receive a performance payment of 2,200 coins. We will finish filling out the evaluation form, save it, and send it back to open function. Open function will receive the evaluation and initiate the performance payment to our worker. We can see the worker record in IRIS and see that on today's date, a payment of 2,200 coins was sent to her account. Our employee can check in her bank account and she will see that she received a payment of 2,200 coins on today's date. Now the power of using a building block approach is that we can use the same building blocks and the same workflows to provide functionality for a different use case. In this case, we'll look at SDG target, SD, SDG3 target 3.1 related to global maternal mortality. Our use case is as a remote health worker, I want to receive my salary for the maternal health services rendered. The workflows are the same and the building blocks are the same. We'll return to our live demo environment and we'll see how we can fill, uh, use the same system to perform the functionality for this use case. We'll create a new position, in this case, a remote health worker. We'll configure the information for, for this worker. And in this case, we will assign the worker to a hospital facility. We'll save the information and then we can go ahead and use ODK, uh, use open function to update the ODK form so that the position can be filled. 
Our remote hiring manager will get the latest version of the registration form and can fill the information for a new remote health worker. In this case, our worker is Darren. Oops. Again, we provide her, uh, his mobile number and in this case, he's applying for the remote health worker position at the hospital. He will start working today. And when we save the form and send it back, we will again see in Iris that the position has been filled. This demo shows that when we create technology platforms using the building block approach, it's easy to adapt them to new sectors, programs, and contexts. This kind of approach can reduce implementation time, increase scalability, and gives governments, donors, and implementers a clear roadmap for how technology should be leveraged. The current ecosystem is fragmented, full of systems that are context and sector specific, unable to scale. As organizations and governments align their digital systems with the interoperable building blocks methodology, we will be better able to create platforms that deliver real value, serve people, and help us achieve the sustainable development goals.